All right, let's ask her about this amber. Oh, that's... How did you get this? The lady in the barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know. I even based on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh. It turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. She seemed pretty stable to me. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, I'll tell you what. Tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Maybe she talked a little weird. Uh, she's been prepared for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through her, his own means. Real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just how I wanted. The damage is already done. Gave up running her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. Now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. You should go on, hold on to the amber, okay? I will. Can you read this book? Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your goal. Cliché, but true. Okay, I guess we gotta ask the author about the book. Okay. What about these lenses? Tell me about the lenses. Glitter glue, caps library card, weird film. I'm guessing this is not gonna work. I guess we're just gonna leave that poor guy and the poor robot there. They'll, they'll be fine. Hmm. Where was that? Wait, it was right here, wasn't it? I guess that wasn't the right combination to have that. I'm gonna try something. I'm wondering if it ejects all of them at all times, or just the ones that are wrong. Okay, no, it just ejects all of them, I'm pretty sure. This is obviously not gonna work, but... I guess let's go back to the library. the most peaceful endings of the world I've seen myself. What does it mean? No, whatever. What are you doing, Parker? <laughs> Alrighty then. Um... Alright, library is this way. Let's see what the library has for us. <clears throat> Getting them cricks in my neck. Let's try. Authenticating barcode, executing facial recognition photo match. It seems you do not resemble the owner of this card. You cannot use this card. Bummer. What, what do you mean? Wait a minute. This glitter all over photo now. Library card sticky. Invalid card photo is missing. Why did I why did I do that? Oh, I need to take a picture of myself. I don't how do I know how do I know which one okay, I just need to take a picture of myself. But how do I know what to do? Uh, 
I guess there's only... Well, I guess there's not too many possible unique combinations? I would still rather not do this randomly, but I don't know if there's any hints. Eh, <sighs> whatever. We haven't seen too much. Well, I guess there's been like one fourth wall break per area. It's just been a few videos since the last one that move the window out of frame thing. Wait, no, not this way. Isn't why aren't there any hints for this? That seems wrong. You here for your photos? Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for reasons. We got good news and bad news. The good news is the photo sensor is right behind me. Bad news is it doesn't work right. Hey, you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Tap Tap and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It certainly helped people with expired IDs, like me. Whew. You here for your photo? Uh, you're not gonna help? I figured for sure that would finally give me a hint. There's a slot here. It's an empty rectangular slot. Whoa. Delicately thin. I guess maybe thick and thin are, you know, don't you have any hints? Why aren't there any hints? Try that. I like this. Okay, so thin lens, thick lens, concave, convex. their hints f for this. Why you do this? Why would you do this? Where where are the hints? Okay, hold on. I I, I guess I'll just try and brute force it or something. Uh, ugh. Huh? Okay. Ugh. W w uh, cheese. Ow, my eyes. It's 
a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Yes. Not a cat! <laughs> the card has my face on it now. Kip's library card. Do do do. I got my photo! Tap tap and I fixed the camera. Aw, oh, sweet! Well, back to the library. Oh frick. How long was the last segment? Um ten minutes, okay, so five minutes. Whew. You know what's fun about puzzles without any hints? Not usually anything. Hmm. I'm wondering if we like go back through areas or something maybe. Cause like the author's way back at the start. And there's that weird glass tube thing, but we haven't lost access to that yet. I don't think we've lost access to anything too important. So maybe not. It does it seems like we leave areas like when we've pretty much exhausted everything to do, which is, you know. That's how things should go. Thought again in barcode, facial recognition, photo match. Successful, you're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Skip. Maybe I should have changed the name. That's fine. Looks like an old phone. It's full. Small tree. A very pretty archive, like, corridor. Hello! Oh, goodness. I was not prepared for this. You must be the savior! I'm so happy to get to meet you, heart! It's a, it, it's a die wearing a beret. It's nice to meet you too, miss. So, are you here to check out the archives? I can give you a tour! Actually, I need your help. Uh, can you tell me what I need to do next? I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Yup. Do you know how you can go in? Oh, I bet that's what the big X is. No. Gosh, I don't think anyone's supposed to get in the tide of the tower. I mean, there's a little room you can get into. There's no stairs or elevators or anything else. That is the thing. Okay. If you want my guess, you'll probably need Tap Tap's help? I don't know exactly. In my experience, that kind of knowledge is usually recorded in some kind of cryptic book. But I haven't read anything like that before. Sorry! Ah. Uh, we, we happen to have something relevant. It's a box full of newspapers and notebooks. Oh, those are manuscripts the author sent to me! This is a head librarian. It's my job to help him with the publication progress. Process. But uh, he hasn't lately been sending me anything. This isn't like him. I mean, I guess it does solve it. Give me some extra time to work through this backlog. To be honest, I'm a little behind, haha. -ha. That guy works fast. I see. The weird part is, I've been publishing book after book after he stopped sending me things, right? The pile of manuscripts never seems to get any smaller at all. Golly, do you think I'm getting bonkers? He's slipping freaking manuscripts in. While she sleeps or something. Even the painting is books. It's books all the way down, my friends. Oh, that box is for the book I'll get to publish next week. I'm so excited! Tilda! His books are in high demand, you know? We literally have people lining up to read them. Wow. Oh, what does he write about? Well, he, what else did he write about? It's really impressive how fast he can crank his scripts out. Like, where do you, does that guy get all the time? Very, very suspicious. It's a black clover symbol in the cover of this book. And the rest of the books, too. Are they all about clovers? Oh, no, no, no. Black clover symbol just means it's written by the author. He doesn't want to tell anyone his name, so he uses Mark's symbol instead. He wrote all of these books. He sure did. This book is obviously suspicious. Book is poking out from the shelf. Another fruitful visit to the great... Oh, frick. Work, 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 work! Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed high in spirit. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival. More vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights in a window and the sound of footsteps on a wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Rackus was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant in recording the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings, and his writings have been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, is best interested in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Box 
locked in the notebooks. There's ProfitBot! Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint seems to be able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture of the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it should still be capable of delivering the late Prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. Rest in peace, Prophet. I guess we're supposed to read this way. It's a sketchbook of some sort. Wednesday. Now there's still life with some objects on my desk. So not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Very sketches, practice. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Though the pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves delay incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. This curious plants are most resilient can thrive to the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. And the glen can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with other mo with the moss resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggest these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. That is interesting. So here. Nine ten. It's what? That date means Wait, what? Look at that date format. I guess it's year 910, month 45, day 22. Huh. Fridge is full of bottled water and takeout boxes. I guess she lives here. Computer screen says something about updated databases. It looks like a scanner. Alright, well. I think next time we're gonna find out how to get into that freaking tower.